All right, looks a little different. Finally got the actual pond, waterfall, stream, whatever you want to call it, kind of all set. Obviously a lot of finish work still left to be done, but this is where we're at right now. I'm gonna walk around here. Really happy with how this turned out. Really cool weir stone. Water coming over, coming off that rock which was there, cascading down this little spillway, and kind of into the pond. Get up here. All right. Added some new steppers in. The first falls in. This big holding area up here. This water is you know, six to eight inches deep. It's a nice area for the kids to hang out. You see that? Loving that going into the pond. It's a really cool rock to stand on. A couple nice flat ones here that are nice and secure for the kids to hang out. Be a lot of frogs up here. Step over. See that coming in. It's a nice, a little bit more relaxing sound up here. Love that water coming in right on that little notch. The moss covered rock. Already got river stone up here. Little rock in the middle. Kind of enjoy that coming off the flat stone, cascading off that face there. A couple different, you can see spillways into the water. Yeah, let's step across and then coming out of the bucket itself, narrow it down a bit, coming off those rocks into the stream and then kind of out there. Up here. So, take a look down. That's it. Narrow to start, opens up a bit, and then we got a nice little, well, like a holding pond up above, a couple of flat rocks that you can stand on. Have to river stone that in, maybe put some larger, flatter rocks just for cont um, contrast down in the bottom. And that comes in goes into the big pond a lot of planting finishing to do like I said but really excited for how that came out thanks for watching guys make sure you please like and subscribe definitely gonna see this evolve uh, with garden tours throughout this year so stay tuned I'm excited thanks